Welcome back. This is AP Environmental Science, Chapter 5. And in this video, we're going to talk about fundamental niche. And so uh, all species have a range of tolerance. Uh, that is the, the limits to the abiotic conditions they can tolerate. And so uh, we already know this. We know that, you know, amphibians require a lot of water. And so therefore, you're not going to find uh, many amphibians in a desert ecosystem. Right? And so the fundamental niche for uh, uh, many amphibians is going to be a place where the abiotic conditions are such that there's a lot of moisture. Right? So this graph right here uh, is showing fundamental niche, the ideal abiotic conditions that a species may live, and it's just addressing temperature. And so at a particular temperature range, spe a species is going, oh, so the y-axis is performance. So there's high performance in between these two temperature range, or this temperature range right here. At, between these two temperatures, uh, a species survives and grows and reproduces. So it not only survives, but it also has great growth and is able to reproduce. So it's high performance within this temperature range. But if you go beyond that temperature range, if you go higher than that temperature range, well, at certain temperatures, that species may only be able to survive and grow, but not reproduce. And then as you go higher to a higher temperature, maybe that species is only able to survive, but not grow or reproduce. And then eventually it reaches a temperature that it just simply dies. Right, and the same thing with lower temperatures. If you go outside the ideal temperature for a species, uh, this lower temperature, it's only able to survive and grow, but not reproduce. This temperature, the species is only able to survive, but not grow and not reproduce. And then at a very low temperature, the species dies. So, uh, in this case, we're talking about the abiotic condition temperature. And we see from this graph that a species is going to perform very well between a particular range of temperatures and not so well outside that range. This is for any abiotic factor. So a species is going to have a range or ideal conditions for humidity, salinity, pH, uh, moisture, all of these types of things. And so this is called a species fundamental niche. Now uh, a species also has what's called a realized niche and realized niche is when you combine the abiotic factors and also biotic factors. Because the, uh, a species may be uh, suited for a particular abiotic condition, but if it's out, uh, if the competition is high uh, or predation is high in that area, then maybe it's not able to live in that area. And so, uh, and so biotic factors also have... Um, also determine a niche for a species. Overall, this is both the fundamental niche and the realized niche is going to determine the distribution of a species around the world. And so uh, it's important to understand fundamental niche and realized niche in order to understand the distribution. This is also important when we talk about global climate change uh, because, or even just habitat loss, because as climate changes, right? Maybe uh, things change like pH of the oceans or temperatures or moisture in a particular area, right? Deserts shift. And so you have species that have to try to survive outside their fundamental niche and that may not be able to happen. Depend they may not be able to adapt depending on how fast this occurs. So we'll talk more about uh, how shifting uh, temperatures, pH, salinity, and such due to global climate change may be detrimental to species because they cannot shift their fundamental niche fast enough. And so uh, we'll talk about that in a later chapter.